with once upon a time. My grandma would have crawled through glass to have one of these when she was young. The batteries are almost dead, but I should be able to use it, at least for a little while. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he really got me, so credit to him. Oh. Little impertinent kid. He has a bright future ahead of him. You're having fun, eh? Tyler didn't want me in the way, so he closed me in here. I had to do something to fill all this time. Tyler? My older brother. He's the guy who arranged the party. I was bored, so I thought it would be fun to scare anyone who walked into the storage room by mistake. If I was in your shoes, I would have done much worse. Where did those come from? They're the posters for a Horror Billy concert that will be held tonight at the old cemetery. My brother didn't want any interference for his party, so he tore down as many as he could. The whole neighborhood was practically wallpapered with them. Wake up, old man! You needn't shout like that. You're right. Excuse me. I forgive you. Listen, could you maybe sew some of this hair on the head of this doll? An unusual request. But I perceive no reason not to indulge you. Give it to me. Too kind. There is work to complete here, for sure. Ronald and I love to watch their black and white movies. Ronald and I love to watch their black and white movies. Okay, one of the fallen angels. But this one seems to have made a loud thump. I can gladly do without the holiness. It's not for me. A statue in the city graveyard is the right tribute to one of the heroes of my video gaming childhood. I would have never imagined we'd have so much in common one day. Although I was lucky enough not to lose my jaw. It's really curious how many genius hunches are just the result of more or less serious head injuries. What do I need with a flux capacitor that doesn't... flux? I don't think it would be very easy to get this grave to a speed of 88 miles per hour. They come up with all kinds of excuses to mask their hoarseness. How, if he couldn't even sing his own song? <laughs> At the very least, it can't be said he lacks self-deprecation. Hey guys, can I have some of your firecrackers? Ask your mother to buy you some. And get out of our way, can't you see we're busy? He has a promising career as an arsonist ahead of him. Hey guys, can I have- Ask your mother to- And get out of our way, <laughs> But that's grandma. Er, Ronald's grandma, I mean. 
I hope that even after her passing, her mole vision hasn't improved much, so I can still pass myself off as Ronald. Hi, Grandma. I'm... I'm Ronald. Uh, Grandma, I can't really understand what you're saying. Here lies Wilson Percival Higgisbury, exceptional scientist who fatally wounded himself with a razor blade. Here rests Woody the Lumberjack, asphyxiated after inhaling some silver powder. Here Willow the arsonist found her eternal peace, dead for the joy of a great fireworks show. Here Wilbur the Monkey King is buried, dead on the spot having slipped on a banana peel. The thread of a spiderweb is made of such resistant material, it would make even Frodo's mithril chain mail seem flimsy. Too sticky. I won't be able to get it off my hands. The most useful object a galactic hitchhiker could have. Only in case of emergency. Better not. I had no idea they had followers in the arachnid world as well. In the otherworldly realm, you'd have a hard time taking root with your business model. Damn my age. Ronald, Grandma, sweetheart, you came to see me? You're so emaciated. Are you eating enough? I have a serious allergy to plums that totally ruined my will to live. Well, sometimes we all get a bit constipated. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Try some baked apples or kiwis. Grandma, didn't you have yourself cremated? Do you really think I'd let them lock me up in a vase? I corrupted the gravedigger by telling him to fill the urn with chewing gum. I noticed that. Your favorites. Anything for my little Ronnie. It'd really be too much for her. What is Grandpa doing over there? He's been trying to get out of his coffin for days now. Except every time he forgets to watch his head. Well, at least he leaves you alone. It's about time. It wasn't enough for him to torture me when I was alive. I didn't even have time to die before he felt compelled to do the same. I'll come back and visit you very soon, Grandma. Wait a minute, Ronald. It's dangerous out there. It's full of atheists. Take this. With your permission, I'll take it, Boogie. Go ahead. You earned it. On the house. You can never say no to a drink. Yes, good boy. Drink. 
Don't look at me that way. I had no other choice. Look at him. He's sleeping like an angel. A few hours of sleep won't be bad for him. He was too stressed. I want to reassure all friends and relatives who are following us from home. He's just unconscious. Maybe. I tried using good manners, but you wouldn't listen to me. In a couple of hours, you'll be just fine. Don't worry. These must be the crane keys. This crane is falling apart. Well, one of the few advantages of my skeletal form is that I'm unaffected by electric shocks. I didn't know I'd need to go through all this to get it down. This is shaping up to be very fruitful fishing, finally. <laughs> I can't believe you did it. I am a real pro. What can you do? Why don't you take a look at your pockets? How on earth did you do it? When you spend your life escaping from the IRS, you can't survive <laughs> without uh, certain tricks. And how did you end up running a carousel? Social services. Anyway, with that coupon, you can collect a prize of your choice at the gypsy kiosk just outside the city. Oh, I almost forgot. Be careful going around with that other little bag I gave you. Oh god, what other little bag? <laughs> I was just joking. You're not funny at all. A belt would be useful. Hmm. What is it? Postmodern art? Nah, you're right. I really can't come up with nothing interesting. Like what? Well, bro, I don't know. Something that conveys strong emotion, gets people's attention. Something that grabs you, but original once in a while. Tired of writing A cab on the monuments, yo. You hear me, bro?
I'll think about it. Maybe I'll have a good idea. Sweet. For me, it will always be inseparably bound to the perception of two dogs eating spaghetti and meatballs in the moonlight. Thanks a lot, Walt. It's fine where it is. He's a human being. Sorry to bother you, but you seem familiar. You probably saw me in a game show in the past. You know, I was a pro gamer once. Judging by how you're doing now, it seems something went wrong. Carpal tunnel. I slowly lost mobility and reactivity. It cut me out of the pro circuit. I imagine more like an arrow in the wrist or something like that. Arrow in the wrist? Never played Skyrim? Sorry. Just beat em ups. Then you suffer the proper punishment. He probably came all this way just to find some peace. I've bothered him enough. I'll let him rest this time. I can't even imagine what's inside that slop. Negative. I'd become a victim of their fury, inevitably. And I still care to keep both my hands. What do you think I am? I doubt the Ego people will ever stop to thank the Duffer Brothers. I wonder how much they've earned thanks to Stranger Things. If I were you, I'd let it go. That little girl becomes a really dangerous cookie when she gets mad. Exactly like these things are really supposed to happen. In this video game, some phrases are a bit too literal. I suppose I should ask her for my prize. Um, hello? What's with a concerned face? You never saw a puppet before? Sure, but not one handled with invisible strings by a headless puppeteer. And able to speak, by the way. Do you have a problem with me not being controlled by strings? Well, n no. And maybe it's illegal for a puppet to have a nice voice like mine? Th that's not what I meant. You women are really impossible. Best Halloween costume ever. Assuming it's actually a costume. Hey, talk to me. Sorry if I insist, but I really don't understand if you're a puppet or a flesh-and-blood person. Real or puppet? Who cares? Is it just our appearance that makes us what we are? Well, I'm a skeleton exactly because I'm dead. I won a coupon at the carousel. Choose your favorite prize. Anything? Anything. I'd like a copy of Detective Comics number 27. Hmm. I gave out the last one just yesterday. But you're in luck. I can give you this. Let's have a look. How is it possible that all this stuff could fit inside such a small package? This is a cool track. I've never heard it. Too bad I don't know the title. It seems that part has finally arrived.
Is everything working now? The c courier took a little convincing, but in return, the c carburetor was p perfect. I absolutely offer myself as a guinea pig to test it then. Really? Have you got any idea of the p possible side effects? Time p paradoxes, inability to come back. Risk of incest with his own mother. P possible annihilation, c chromosome mutations. I can go on for hours. Let's say I've got nothing to lose. It's okay by me then. There's only one p problem. I've finished all the p plutonium. And it'll be a c couple of days until my trusted d dealer can find some new stock. So you'll have to wait. I'll come back later. See you then. Maybe this might be interesting for you? W where did you find that? Here and there. Okay, okay. Pour in exactly th three milliliters for every d dozen years you want to go back. Add another t two milliliters to run the machine and one milliliter every half hour of real t time utilization. Be as p precise as possible. Okay, no problem. The m machine will start as soon as you have inserted the d destination date in the appropriate d display. Avoid t traveling into the future. The process p partly uses the geomagnetic field of the Earth, and p possible changes could stop you from c coming back. Just remember, you c can't jump from t time to time. Every time you're forced to return to the present. Will you be much longer? The d doors are automatic, so stay in the vicinity. Some animals could enter the machine and c come back instead of you by accident. And remember to be c careful to never interfere with the space-time continuum. Yeah, yeah, whatever. How much plutonium did he say I have to pour exactly? Mm. Well, I'll abound. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs>